So hello everybody and welcome to another edition of 25 Days of Tax Fridays Challenge. Now we are on day 8. If you don't know really what I'm talking about, please go down to the description box and you have all the details about the challenge there and you can join at any time. It's never late, okay? So we're going to solve today day 8. So if you are stuck or you want to see how I solved it, this is the video. Let's get started. Okay, so there are a few ways to solve this and I'm going to show you three. And it just goes in, in order of difficulty, basically. So the first thing that we're going to do is always to check with DAX. The question was, how many orders are a single item? That means that in that order, only one product was ordered, okay? So we're going to go to the order table and we're going to grab order ID, put it on a uh, table. Now we are going to count the number of products per order because we want to know how many were just one product order. So we go to product ID from the orders table and we change that to count. So we know how many products, right? And now we're going to go to the filter pane and on product ID count, we're going to do there is one. And it gives us now that 137 product orders had only one product. Okay, now how do you solve it with that? Um, I'm going to show you, as I mentioned, two ways. One way is um, it will give you the wrong run grand totals but it's the more intuitive way. The other one, you create a virtual table so you don't have to fix the grand totals issue, okay? So first, the easy way that in reality it gets a bit complicated. So this is what we're going to do. We go to our measure table where I'm putting all the challenges in there. So we're going to go and do day eight. Day eight point one, because we're going to have a few of these. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're actually going to calculate the number of products per order. So we're going to count and make sure that you pick the order table because we're counting on the order table, the product ID. Then we're going to return and then we're going to remember what we had to do. We had to, how many orders is the question, how many orders? So we need to calculate the count of order ID, right? And how do we calculate that? We want to get the order table and we want to filter it. And we want to filter where the count of products is one. So we want to filter the order table where the product, where the number of products is one, right? And now if we put this on our results table, you're going to see that it is actually giving us the right result, but it's not giving us a ground total. So if you want to fix the ground total here, you need to do the ground total trick. So you would go here and you go day 8.2. And then you would go uh, if has one value order ID. That means if you are on the row level, so order ID, then do 8.1. Otherwise, that means if you have more than one value, you are on the grand total level. So if you are on the grand total level, then do sum x of the values for order ID, order ID, and then they are going to do 8.1. So what you're telling is like, okay, if we are on the row level, just do whatever would you did before, but if we are on the ground totals, sum everything that is above. And if I put this one there, you'll see 137. So now I can put this on a card the way I need it. You can see there, and it gives us the right results. If I put 8.1 in a card, it's not going to give us anything. Okay, so for this case, you will need to have two measures. We want to have only one, right? So we're going to do this again with one measure only. 
So how do we do it with one measure? It's very similar to what we've done on previous challenges. So I'm going to show you on a table so you can actually see what's going on. We're going to create a new table and we are going to do the, it's the same idea all the time. You create the table that you want and then you do calculations on it virtually rather than as we do in the beginning that we're actually doing creating them in you know in the visual interface. So in here we're going to do summarize and we're going to summarize the order table orders with border ID. If you remember how it was the table, the order ID and then we're going to have the count of products, so number of product. And the number of products is going to be the count of orders product ID. Wow. Product ID. Okay, make sure you pick orders. And here we have the table that we created before. Now we need to apply the folder equal one. That's all we need. Okay, so we are going to create on our measure table where I'm putting all of the challenges. So day 8.3. This is the final one. There are a million ways to do this, but this is the final I'm going to show you. So we're going to count rows and the table that we want, we want to filter it by the table that we created like two seconds ago where the number of products is one, right? And this will give us the correct grand total, so we can put it on a card. So we go there, put it there, and 137. Ding, 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 ding. So obviously, if you don't need to put it in a card, you don't need to do it like that. So it depends on how you're visualizing things, you would need different tags. It's the way it is. So. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing on the channel? Are you still there? Let me know in the comment box how you're doing. If you're enjoying it, what was your best, most difficult challenge? I will see you again tomorrow with day nine.